Hey guys, Kurt Hoss here from Hostile Conditioning. It's been a couple months since I've shot a video for you guys. I uh, just got over being sick uh, for about five weeks. Not crazy ill, you know, a couple weeks of uh, definitely not feeling well, but I had this crazy thing with my voice. Even now it's not quite 100%, but I mean, it's almost like I had laryngitis for like the last, you know, like five out of the last six weeks. So it's finally at the end of last week and beginning of this week that I'm actually, voice is feeling better. So I definitely didn't want to do those going through puberty videos with you guys. Uh, so I held off a bit. So like I said, uh, it's been a couple of months. A lot of cool things have happened, as always. Uh, a lot of great training happening here at Hostile Conditioning. Um, myself, personally, just uh, ran a 5K and the Army run, my first 5K ever. I've been training for it for about nine weeks using this little, cool little program called Couch to 5K. It's like a $1.99 app off the iPhone from active.com. It really, really worked well. It set guidelines what to do for the week. And I remember starting off with 60 seconds of jogging and 90 seconds of walking and it was kicking my ass. And by the end of it, I was running for 30 minutes straight. And then I ran my first 5K for the Army run just past uh, September. And I ran it in 4719. So again, huge bucket list, never did something like that before in my life, it was awesome. The following Sunday, uh, we had our own uh, Run Like Health 5 and 10K walk run that we're doing through Hostile Conditioning and uh, Beauchamp Chiropractic to raise money for kids at some of the sports camps. So I ran again, and uh, I ran it 47.10, shaved like nine seconds off. So, uh, you know, running two 5Ks in, in, in seven days is pretty uh, impressive for myself, having never done something like that for sure. And definitely found a, a love for running now. I'm going to start as of tomorrow. I'm going to start training for uh, a 10K uh, with the same company, same active.com. I have another app called 5 to 10K. So I'll start working towards that. So we'll see what it's like running through the fall and, and in the winter and stuff. So again, all outdoors. So a lot of fresh air. I was really happy with that. Uh, we have our powerlifting meet coming up November 17th, our Raw Bench Provincials. Uh, we're going to look for about 40 lifters. There's uh, a couple cool things going to be happening. I'll let you guys know about that later on. Uh, a couple cool surprises, lots of surprises for the, uh, the athletes, of course. And it's always a great day of, uh, of lifting and powerlifting camaraderie and stuff. So a great thing to check out and definitely participate in if you uh, always wanted to compete. A lot of people want to compete. A lot of people train hard as if they are going to compete, but never actually go and do that. So that's always my advice is, you know, if you're into something, find some way to compete in it. It's going to bring your training up. It's going to bring your focus up. It's very rewarding when you do and you step up and you, you put your, you know, yourself on the line, as we say, and, and you go out there and complete something, compete. Very few people compete in things, and it's too bad because it's a rush. You know, it really is about the competition, not whether you win or lose on anything. It's just about going up there and doing your best. And, and again, you know, I'm a big fan of that. It's really good for, uh, you know, reinforcing goals you have and stuff. If someone says, comes in and say, Kurt, you know, I want to lose 30 pounds, you know, you know, we know you do a lot of great training here. Can you help me out? I'm absolutely. But the first thing I like to talk to them about once they get their training in and start coming with us is let's pick something to do with this training. So let's pick a 5K or let's pick a hike or let's pick an event so that your training has more meaning. And it's not just about that 30 pounds, but hey, I want to lose 30 pounds, but I'm also getting ready for this competition or this event or this race. And what happens is just reinforces the goals and it makes going after that 30 pound weight loss much easier overall. Uh, myself, you know, I'm down, I'm almost breaking the 300, I'm back and forth, um, just, uh, you know, the body's just giving me a hard time, and i got to focus a bit more on my diet, like I tell everybody else, but I'm so close to going under 300 for the first time, uh, as I posted a while ago on Facebook, uh, I think last week, you know, I went from a 5X t-shirt uh, in January to wearing a 2X t-shirt, so, you know, that's a big, a big change in the physique, uh, uh, people don't understand it when I tell them that I feel small, at 300 pounds because I was almost 400 pounds. So it's getting used to that body type changing. Um, you know, mechanics are changing back in the benching and competing. Um, you know, it's, I'm, I'm working with a different body down there. So it's definitely a challenge, but at the same time, I'm looking forward to it as I move to keep moving towards my goal of getting down to 275, but I want to bench 500 raw in the meat. So definitely, you know, having a couple of different activities like that going at the same time just dials my training in, make sure that I hit the kettlebells hard, make sure I hit my weight training hard, and I keep my cardio conditioning with the jogging up. I'm just becoming a much better, well rounded athlete, and I'm pretty happy about that, and I feel fantastic. Again, even though I was sick for five weeks, I don't know what's up with that, I feel phenomenal compared to last year. I mean, at 44, I haven't felt like this before. So I'm really, really pumped for myself. And again, uh, when I see other people doing it, in the, you know, at Hostile here, I get pumped for them, and they get pumped for me, and it's, it's just it's contagious. So it's a really, really good thing to have a really sound and motivating environment to train in, like we have here at Hostile Conditioning. So def definitely very blessed to have this going on and, and, and be sharing this with people. So enough of this uh, soft and cuddly stuff. Something else I want to talk about today was just Thanksgiving. Here we are uh, back to work on Tuesday. Um, 
you know, I hope a lot of you had a great long weekend. I hope a lot of you ate and enjoyed it. And that's my big thing too. I want people when it comes to events like this to really be able to enjoy it, not worry about what's happening, you know, with their diet and with their training and stuff like that. If you're really behaving and working hard throughout the week, you can hit those three or four big holiday weekends with style and really enjoy it and stuff. You know, I have a simple mathematical equation that I've worked out because I'm so smart, SMRT. You get a long weekend plus a lot of food equals work your ass off the following week. So again, listen, I guess if I jump on the scale today and I should do it, I'm probably up 10 or 12 pounds. Why? Because, I mean, I was taking down pumpkin pie and whipped cream like a, you know, a lion and a Serengeti takes down a wildebeest, right? And no mercy, that, that pie never stood a chance. But, you know, that's what yesterday was for. For us, Thanksgiving was, uh, we, we celebrated it yesterday. Um, you know, but all weekend long was a little dirtier, stuff like that, because it's a long weekend. You go to visit people and different things happening. And I don't want to be like one of those social pariahs where oh, I can't have this and I can't have that. I enjoyed myself this weekend, but I know starting today, it's balls to the walls and we got to get it done and, and we got to, you know, get back on target with the diet and hit the heavy training up and stuff. So that's what I want to talk about today. I need you guys to, you know, make sure that when you have these great weekends and you really enjoy yourself and you reward yourself, I think it's fantastic. But you've got to get back onto the old uh, racetrack, uh, you know, the following morning. You know, this morning, first thing, oatmeal smoothie. Um, meals are prepared every three hours, high proteins. You've got your carbs in the morning, you've got your fats in the afternoon, you're eating tight, following the man diet. Work it hard, a little extra hard. If you can throw an extra workout in through the week just to get that metabolic rate fired back up, that 5, 10, or even 15 pounds you might have gained over the weekend will be gone by the following weekend if you get back to it today. And that's really important. Get back to it today. Don't say, oh, what's one more, what's, what's one more day, what's one more day, because that's where it gets really dirty. And that's where it becomes off the wagon. You've fallen. It's been two months now since you've trained eating properly because you went and said that to yourself one time. What's another day? So get to be sure you don't do that. Get back to it today. Get to your workout today. Drive it even harder. Tell yourself, hey, I had a great weekend. Now I gotta work this off. I gotta pound the pavement. I gotta make sure it gets done. I'm telling you, by next week, by the end of this week, by next Monday, you'll be back to where you were. You'll have enjoyed yourself, you know, during the weekend, and you'll be ready, back on track. Keep pounding it. The next holiday coming up is Christmas. Same thing. You you behave for the next two months and pound it hard. You can enjoy yourself over that Christmas week. That's the way it is. That's the balance, and that's enjoying life, right? Uh, and I think that's really, really important. No one ever on their deathbed sat there and said, I wish I was two pounds lighter, but they often said, I wish I would have enjoyed myself more when I had the opportunity to do it. And again, when you have the opportunity and it's a special event, do it. Crush it. Crush it as hard as you do with your workouts. Enjoy it. Partake and enjoy. But again, once that's over, get back to the grind, get back on top of your discipline, and work your way towards your goals again. Anyway, a lot more videos will be coming now that I'm feeling better and the voice is a lot better. And um, any questions, same thing, you can reach me at KurtHaas at gmail.com, on our Facebook at, uh, Facebook at Hostile Training. Um, you know, don't be shy. Another cool thing we're doing now, sorry, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I'm like all over the place. Uh, every th Tuesday night here at Hostile, 8 p.m., I do a live Q&A where I hang back after the 7 o'clock class from 8 till 9 and I'm setting it up so that just any of my clients, any people that talk to me, any people that see this, if they want to come in and, and, and just ask me questions about training and nutrition and what they're doing, I'm, I'm setting myself up so I'm, I'm, I'm reachable for that hour so that we can sit there and have some good conversations. Every week I'm going to pick a topic. Last week I talked about um, just protein, you know, how to set up your diet, how to prepare properly, and have protein in every meal. This Tuesday, tonight, I want to talk about, uh, you know, winter coming up. I'm big into the multivitamins and the greens. I'm not a big fan of it during the, the year so much in the summer when there's a lot of fruits and vegetables available in our diet, providing we're eating well. But with winter coming on, the day's getting shorter, less sunlight, less fresh fruit available and vegetables. I think it's important to jump onto a multivitamin and a green. So that's what uh, the topic I'll be carrying on with tonight at 8 o'clock. But again, a Q&A at the beginning. And then the last you know, 20 minutes, I'm going to get into multivitamins, how to take them, what's important, what's to look for, and why I believe we should really focus on those kind of things going into our darker winter months coming up you know, overall. So again, anything you need, any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. This is Kurt Haas from Hostile Conditioning saying, crush it.